This semester began with the usual unknowns. Who are my classmates? Will I be able to work with them? What are my teacher's expectations? Will I know what she's talking about? There's a visible sigh of relief when the universal topic is broached, when the students realize how much they already know about the semester's topic, food. The intermediate English language learners in this video are revealing the result of a semester-long project-based learning or PBL experience. This is their day, the culmination of their PBL experience, crossroads and crosswords. Sixty guests came to support and applaud these students as they presented and answered questions about their food trucks and guided everyone in solving their crossword puzzles. Student creativity from research to design to music was the impetus for their language exploration. For the Crossroads and Crosswords project, students interviewed food truck workers and owners' managers. They tasted everything from tacos to waffles to ice cream. They discussed their knowledge and experiences during class with their classmates and outside the classroom with their individual project teams. During the whole semester, students wrote in their food journals. They entered their ideas and reflections about the videos they viewed and the articles they read about food trucks. They explored the concepts of sustainability and social justice. They wrote about their experiences eating from different food trucks and how their teams worked together building friendships. The food journals became the site for their visual stories about their independent gain of new knowledge and their collaborative experiences. Eccles and I have prepared whole semester just for today. We watched the videos, read the articles, and talked about food trucks. We studied the history, cuisine, design, and especially social justice of food trucks. We hope to teach you some of what we learned this semester. Let's get rolling with our food trucks. Thank you. <laughs> Working on the food trucks together, Alexandra, Jiyun, and Jun mixed their burgeoning English language with their enthusiasm and creative ideas. They literally and figuratively let themselves go with creative expression and ingenuity. You'll soon see Grandma's truck on the loose. The students discovered how to use a remote control to make their truck mobile and added a disco light on the top and music too. They handcrafted the food and developed the drink menu for children to adults. The inspirational grandmom was actually in the audience that day. Our group members are from three different countries, Colombia, Korea, and China. So we decided to use three types of food. And uh, as our main food, there is uh, tortilla and rice. And as a side food, we have many uh, choices like kimchi, vegetables, and beef. Also, we have another concept like crazy grandma. So this, is, this music is like a party music, will let us want to dance. She is my grandmother, she was my inspiration to make this food truck. And also, we choose our grandmother because everyone feels comfortable and like a grandmother to have like your Playing off the well-known Chinese martial arts in naming their food truck, Violina and Ruby created a menu where each dish has a Kung Fu-related moniker. The two of them collaborated so well that their food truck was bursting with their cultural energy, with reds and yellows and a strikingly beautiful heroine of Chinese legend. They also addressed cross-cultural issues by ensuring that their high-technology ordering system included a multitude of languages. You can find us in this social app, and uh, we post a lot of our food and the uh, and we also teach you how to do it. And on the top of our food truck, here's uh, six red balls, because the six is a lucky number in our Chinese culture. So orange color and red color is also the lucky color in our Chinese culture. So you see inside of it, here's a jetty chain. Two musicians and a design student work together on the harpsifood food truck, choosing the name as a play on the word harpsichord. Sowa composed the music for the food truck, which Hijo played. Eric led the team on the design for the food truck. Watch for the man fishing on the top of the food truck. Harpsifood, we learned, will always be parked by a river or lake. The team explained that anyone could bring their fresh fish to the food truck to be prepared. Obstacles. 
We decided our future's name as Hub Schools. It is because our cuisine are related to seafood, and the Hub School sounds are very unique, like water. To music and food. So we decided to change the name chord to become food. Actually, so I wrote this music, and I play the piano and the harp score. The bass sound is piano sound. In the design part, there are four major colors. The blue, which is represents sea, and the red, which is like most of the seafood. Black and white, which is represent the music sheet. We use a lot of recycled products, like the tires, which is made from the bottles and the straws to decorate the food trunks. Rice is the staple of Rikar, presented in the name and the food available from the food truck team of Sophie, Jen, Eureka, and Anna. This team made sure that the issue of sustainability was addressed as their serving pieces were made out of bamboo. Their attention to detail was astounding. Just take a look at the replica city permit on the side of the truck to their use of a crossword puzzle as part of the exterior design. Our team is composed of three Koreans and one Japanese. Our main ingredient is rice. Therefore, uh, the name Raika is a combination of rice and car. We provide sustainable containers such as bamboo and coconut. We can show to consumer how do we cook. They can observe to us what kind of ingredients do we use. So we can make consumers to believe our food is clean and healthy. We prepare the pot crossword puzzles for today. So we hope to enjoy our puzzles. Project-based learning, or PBL, focuses on the very elements you can discern in all of these food trucks. Through PBL, students respond to guiding questions by doing research and listening to and talking about related information. They make choices and reflect on their decisions. PBL supports creativity, collaborative work, and critical thinking, all the while building confidence and competence. Adjective, having life or vigor or spirit made to appear to move as living creatures do. On the street, they find an And when you are doing our puzzle, you have to make sure you, are, you can finish it easier. Number eight. It's a noun for something that is contemplated. That's a plan, but we say that it's a plan, so we can't go. We are the champions of the world. Oh, oh wait, were they doing the hard one? Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Look at all the smiles. See how everyone is huddled together working on the crossword puzzles. Native English speakers, from other teachers to friends to family members, we're closely with the English language learners. The attention to the puzzles is palpable. You can almost see the cognitive wheels turning as everyone is having fun and learning together. We hope that all of you will visit food trucks in the city to try different cuisine from different cultures. Special thanks to Nate. Nate. Reflect for a moment on the students standing here beaming and close together with their food trucks. Everything you've seen on this video is a result of their choices and their engagement, and it all transpired in English.